The Lord be with you. Frank Cheney was, by all accounts, what you would call a crank. For years, he had lived alone in his upper apartment, his wife Vera having gone to be with the Lord many years past. He was set in his ways, and by all accounts, especially those of his nieces and nephews and even his own children, he was an old crab. He had never been one much for talk. He attended all the family gatherings, but sat on a dining room chair in some shadowed corner of the room, not saying much. The little ones usually gave Uncle Frank a wide berth. Frank had worked hard his whole life. Married young and barely able to keep an apartment and a bride on the meager salary of a warehouse clerk, he had to work two jobs just to keep things going. The babies came quickly, and before long, Frank and Vera were Frank, Vera, and family. Frank never quite made it in the way of success. Advancement for him was a nickel raise or an extra day off in the course of 12 months. He worked the warehouse most of his life, finishing off with a retirement party at 65, attended by fresh-faced managers, most of whom had never even said hello to him. But that old second job hung around for a while, and well into Frank's 70s. All his life, he had gone to work early in the morning before most folks were even stirring. Then home for dinner in the late afternoon and back to work again. For years, he had been a security guard working a part-time evening shift that got him home by 9 or 10, just in time to see the kids off to bed and collapse himself, only to get up six or seven hours later and do it all again. For years, he did that. That was his schedule. As the years went by and the kids grew up, went to school, got married, and left home and town, Frank trudged on through life. He and Vera took an occasional vacation, but they had never really had had a, a decent honeymoon. With the empty nest, they thought that perhaps now life might be kinder to them. But then Vera got sick and there were those terrible medical bills. There just didn't seem to be any let up. So Frank trudged on until it seemed that life, family, even marriage had passed him by. When Vera died, he sold the house and moved into the apartment where he spent his time alone. All that was left was reflecting upon what might have been of the life that got away and just couldn't be retrieved. No, he, know, he knew he had pretty much been a failure. That's why when he attended the family gatherings, he stayed quiet in a corner. He missed his wife and he missed his kids. He missed so much. It was now Frank's 82nd Christmas, and the family had gathered at his nephew's house. After dinner, Frank found his place in a corner, anchored himself silently, and waited for the time to pass when it would finally be appropriate to ask for hat and coat and go home. 
but there was one more amenity to suffer until that time could come. There was a new baby in the family, a little great-grandson. Baby passing, a family tradition, was about to take place. The little bundle passed from arm to arm and lap to lap. No one seemed to notice much, but kept talking and laughing as the baby was passed around. That is until it came to Uncle Frank's turn. Plop! Eight pounds of sweetness found its way into his lap, and Uncle Frank found himself staring blankly into the face of life itself. A single tear crossed his furrowed brow, a lonely crossing since none had passed that way for many years. He pulled the baby close and kissed it, never realizing how sweet a kiss could be. His was a bittersweet kiss, bitter in its regret, but sweet in its promise. He stayed for supper that night. He didn't say much, but everyone could tell that Uncle Frank somehow had changed. Before he went home, he straightened a few ornaments on his nephew's tree and asked to hold the baby one more time. He liked the feeling it gave him. Somehow, it made him feel closer to Vera and the kids. Thanks, he whispered to the baby as he handed him back to his mother and Merry Christmas. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. Strange how a baby changes everything. Amen.